Hey everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the third week of uh, November reads start from the 15th through the 21st of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So Cancerians, let's see what's coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding a lot many cards here, so stay tuned. And now uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. So let's see. Cancer, what is coming in for you for this week time? Wow. Starting of the week with Ace of Cups, which is amazing. The Moon and we do have, wow, Ace of Pentacles. And in the deck, we do have Knight of Swords. I really see someone very, very, very much into you. Um, I really feel like you know it's um, you you might have been with this person for quite some time. Um, I really feel like you know for some of you maybe it's a, even if it's a new connection you might have been um, spending a lot of time together lately. Um, you feel that there is something between the two of you which is like unsaid, unheard, but you don't know what it is. You enjoy the moment with this person, but probably I feel like. Uh, for majority of you, you might have not expressed your feelings to each other just yet. And I feel like, you know, this week is the time where the feelings are going to be spoken about. Um, I really feel like, you know, it's a magical, magical kind of a week for majority of you where you can experience a lot happening in your love front. And I really feel like, you know, this was meant to happen. This was bound to happen. This was meant to come through. Um, but yes, I really feel like you, know, you might not be expecting it to be this huge or this big, but something beautiful is coming in. I really feel like you know, for a majority of you, um, this person that I see coming towards you has been thinking a lot about you. Even if you are single right now, there can be a person out there who knows you, who sees you, who observes you and really wants to talk to you about you know, how, how they feel towards you. I really feel like you are being observed by this person and I really feel like you know this person is really uh, taking that step towards you where they really want to um, be open about what they intend to have with you and I really see for majority of you it's something stable that they desire it's something uh, mature like you know it's not something that they want to have a have you as a boyfriend or a girlfriend then you know we will see later on what goes on it's more like a, an attitude of a person who comes with a strong head about it. Like, you know, they know what they want. They want you to be their wife or husband. Uh, they want you to be the one for them. And I really feel like they are going to be vocal about it as well. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, this week is going to be bringing a lot of happy times with the one that you are destined to be with. There's a lot of happiness that you are going to be surrounded with during this week time. And I really see long night... Uh, talks with this person, uh, long conversations with them. For some of you, you could be dealing with another water sign as well. And uh, I really feel like you know, there is a lot of love in this, uh, you know, week for you coming up for you during this, uh, you know, time with this person. You will be experiencing a lot of uh, passion and excitement and uh, enlightenment as well regarding your love life. For those of you who felt like you will never be loved, I really feel like you know, this is going to be the eye-opener for you because you are loved like never before. Uh, you are pampered by this person and I feel like you know, it's, it's going to be amazing. Um, for those of you who are single, who are waiting for love, this is the perfect gift that God can bless you with. Um, and I really feel like you, know, you will be happier than you can even imagine. We do have the temple path. <clears throat> Thinking woman, envy, hold the man holding a coin. Honoring the deck, we do have all tied up. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, your love life could be connected to your work life. Like uh, the person that you are dealing with, maybe they are somebody at your work front. Uh, you might have been working together, but they never opened up. It can be something like that for some of you as well. But I really see the two of you have a very strong bond with each other. Um, you will feel a sense of connection with this person, their beliefs, their uh, spiritual beliefs, their their way of being is going to match yours so well that you would feel like taking things forward with them as well. 
um i really feel like you have to be very careful because there are some envious people around you and uh, who can influence the connection in a negative way um so make sure that you don't give too much importance to other people try not to give power to third party situations as well be that anyone i feel like and it's very important for you to enjoy this moment fully so make sure that you don't share your heart out to the people around you much because i really feel like you know for some of you there are people who are envious and jealous of you and your success so make sure that you keep your success and love to yourself for the people who you actually believe care for you because uh, i really see that there's a lot of love appreciation coming your way and there are people who are jealous of that so just be careful with that energy let's see more cards here Seven of Wands, Death, Nine of Pentacles, Justice. Underneath the deck, we do have the Seven of Cups. For the majority of you, probably you are single right now. For the majority of you, probably you are in that zone where you feel like nothing will ever good happen in my love life. Um, You feel you are prepared. You feel you are ready for, for a loving relationship or a relationship that you can... Um, you know, um, count on. Um, but I really feel like, you know, um, somehow, for some of you, probably you are doing your thing right now. Like, you know, you're not like looking out for love. You're not looking out for the one. And probably that's where you are attracting a lot of love coming your way. I really feel like, you know, in the, uh, you know, uh, if this has not happened yet to you, where you have stopped looking out for love, then I think you should because I feel like you know the moment you are enjoying where you are in your life to the fullest that's when I see this person coming in your life expressing love feelings emotions this person can be somebody that you know already maybe they have never had a relationship with you it can be a past lover returning back as well for some of you but I really see whoever this person is you are going to be feeling a lot of love coming from this person but if you are still single and if you don't experience any love coming your way during this week time just know the reason is not that you're not worthy of love or maybe nothing good will happen to you. The reason is you are not practicing self-love enough and you have to do that. You know, prepare yourself up to be loved by treating yourself with lots of love. When you're doing that, that's when this person comes in. That's when this love comes in. So make sure that you take those steps. For those of you who feel tired, who feel bad in a situation, start loving yourself more and all the else factors and things will start working well for you so let's see um last few cards <clears throat> but i feel like for majority of you you're definitely going to be on the receiving end of uh, something beautiful coming your way this person with an offer is coming for sure magical gateway it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to start a step boldly forward without looking back. <clears throat> I really feel like, you know, uh, it's time for you to move forward. I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably you're stuck in a wrong situation, waiting for a person, feeling bad around it. I feel like, you know, if you're completely single, just move ahead, enjoy your life to the fullest, don't look out for love. When you are enjoying your life to the fullest, that's when that magical gateway opens up, which is going to bring you the one that you're destined to be with and the one who's going to love you, treat you like never before. So I really feel like it's time for you to move forward and never look back and break free from anything uh, that is not serving you any good. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, maybe you have already done that. And if not, then it's time for you to do so because that's where you are going to meet the one who's going to love you forever. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, <clears throat> do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and uh, bye.